Today, the defense argued a lot of the issue of double criminality. Basically, their argument is, since there is Canada does not have sanctions against Iran, Meng Wanzhou did not commit any crimes, and since she didn't commit a crime in Canada, she can't be extradited to the United States. That's the argument. They have charged her with 13 counts of fraud. Their argument is Huawei had a company called Skycom that did business in Iran, violating U.S. sanctions. She was allegedly in 2013 had a meeting with the HSCB bank in Hong Kong, uh, in which she basically, well, their, the allegation is that she lied and said, no, Skycom is an independent company. They're not having dealing with Iran. Huawei is not dealing with Iran. And this is where the allegations of fraud come from. They all, they agree that there was a meeting that went on in uh, 2013 with HSBC. Their argument is the only reason that if HSBC, for a fraud to commit, basically there has to be a crime. HSBC, the bank, would have to suffer some sort of damage or be injured. They say if, if the only reason that they would be damaged is because of sanctions, U.S. sanctions. There's no sanctions, these are sanctions that the United States has put on, and since Canada doesn't have these sanctions, that's the only reason there is a, be a, be a fraud in place, and it's because of the U.S. sanctions, which Canada doesn't have. They say Canada's a sovereign nation, they have their own rules, and to bow to another country, then they're losing their sovereignty. Today, today is actually the beginning of a very long process. Uh, right now, there's four days of court time voted to deal with the issue of double criminality. In June, time is being set aside to deal with the argument that the defense is arguing that uh, Meng Wanzhou's rights were violated when the border security is arrested. Her, head, she, her rights were violated. She wasn't given proper counsel, and that will be the next phase. And then the, this, I mean, this could go on. There's, all, there's also uh, court date set in November for other arguments. So this is the first step in a very long process.